Good morning, Patriots. Uh, this is Dr. Turner. Thank you for giving me just a few minutes of your time. I, I know that uh, students and staff both are, are uh, busy uh, teaching and learning, but I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the tragic events that took place yesterday in Florida. Um, and I want to reassure everyone here that, uh, that your safety uh, is, is what's most important to me. It's uh, when, whenever something like this happens, uh, it is tragic, it is unfortunate, and it, it prompts all of us to think about life and, and, and just our safety on a daily basis. And uh, I want every student here to know that when you come here, when you come to this building, I take your safety more seriously than anything else. Uh, I know that instruction is important. I know that passing classes, that's important. I know that graduating from high school is important. But because I'm a parent myself, I know that whenever I send my children to school, every day that I send my children to school, I want them to come back the same way that I sent them. And I believe that every parent wants that. So I want you all to know that your safety is on the top of my list. It's number one. And today, tomorrow, we're going to be extra vigilant in terms of school administrators uh, working with the SROs, uh, school security. We're going to be visible. Um, uh, I know that many of you all see me a lot in the hallways, and, and, and I'm not in the hallways because I'm trying to catch students doing something wrong. I'm in the hallways because I want to see what's going on. Uh, that's one of the ways that I try to make sure that I'm taking care of students and that I'm meeting the needs of parents who want me to keep their children safe. Um, so as an administrator, when we're out and about and we're walking around the hallways, it's because we want to make sure we know what's going on. Um, and for the students, you know, it's, it's um, this is always something odd for, for students uh, to have to deal with, but um, I think something that happened yesterday in Florida could happen anywhere. Um, and, and I think that's what's most uh, scary about a situation like that. And one of the things that I would ask every young person here is that if you feel like something's not right, if you see something that you think is not right, please come and let an adult know. Uh, if you don't want to come and tell me because you feel like maybe uh, you don't have a relationship with me, that's fine, but go and tell some adult. Um, that's not snitching. That's saving, that could possibly be saving the lives of your friends, uh, your peers, and every adult in this building. Um, at, at the end of the day, when we come to school here at Albemarle High School, we are all patriots, regardless of where we live, our address, the color of our skin. One thing that we all have in common is that we are a patriot. And I want us to be able to focus on taking care of each other. We need to care enough about each other that we would not want anything to happen to the people in this building, okay? So, um, and teachers, please keep your eyes open. Uh, but again, your safety is on the top of my list as well. And I want you all to feel and believe that you're safe here and we work at that every day. It's important. Um, if there's anyone who, who has any questions, if they feel as though they uh, need to talk with someone, please uh, come down, see your counselor. Um, if your counselor's not available, if there's uh, some other qualified staff that we can um, connect you with, then we will do that. But I, I don't want anyone here feeling as though they're, they're not going to be safe because that's one of the things that I work on every day. Uh, I love you, I care about you, and I want you to be safe and feel safe here in this building. Um, thank you, and please have a great day.
Good morning, Patriots. I'm Jonathan. Today is Thursday, February 15th, and here are your morning announcements. If you are a junior with at least a 3.5 unweighted GPA, please check your email about more inf for more information about National Honor Society. Activity sheets are due on March 9th, so please check your email as soon as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Miss Christie in room 248. Current NHS members, please check your email for an important sign-up information about the mandatory Sutherland Carnival Service Project on February 23rd. Today during chat, the National Social Studies Honor Society will meet in room 163. All members are required to attend. See Mr. Thill if you cannot attend. Are you interested in being a part of Albemarle Spring Musical spam -a -lot? Audition week is this upcoming week, February 19th through the 23rd. More information is on the drama board located outside of the drama room. Hope to see you there. Today is the annual winter blood drive from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. in the old gym. Remember to eat a good meal and hydrate. The SCA will deliver a pass if you have signed up to donate blood. Remember that all 16 through 17 year olds must have a permission slip signed before being able to donate. Come join the award-winning, super-swinging AHS Jazz Band for their third annual Valentine's Day Dance. Cost of attendance is $5, which includes delicious food and drinks. Proceeds benefit the AHS Jazz Band and their trip down to Savannah. Come out tomorrow, February 16th from 8 to 11 p.m. in the cafeteria for a great night. Everyone is welcome. Congratulations to the winner of yesterday's Black History Trivia Challenge, Kylie Heaps. Here's Baron from Ethnic Studies to tell you a little bit more about NWA. All right, Baron, congratulations to today's Black History Trivia winner. You knew the names of the rap group NWA. The members of NWA were MC Ren, Ice Cube, Easy e Dr. Dre, and DJ Yella. The group formed in the Compton neighborhood of Los Angeles in the late 1980s. It rose to fame when Straight Outta Compton was released. Uh, many of the songs on the album highlighted their lives and the struggles of young black men dealing with poverty, drugs, and police brutality. Their style um, and their lyrics launched the entire uh, new entire genre of rap music. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for WPAT for more Black History Trivia. And in sports news, there will be a mandatory meeting for any girl interested in trying out for softball today at the start of chat in room 115. Tryout information will be given out at that time. If you are interested in coming out for outdoor track, tryouts will begin on Monday, February 26th. We will meet at the Fieldhouse right after school. That's all for now. Have a great day, Albemarle.